All right, hey Aries, so we're doing the weekly singles read. All right, there's going to be a link down below for my Facebook. If you guys would friend me or like my page um, and subscribe, I'm going to be giving away uh, mini reads, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. So if you guys would be so kind, that would be awesome. All right, so we're just going to get the first scenario out. Who is this person? Who is this person that Aries will be running into? Who is this person? What are they like? Who is this person? All right, Aries. So we have the fool card coming out. Is this person going to be a fool? No. I feel like what this card is saying, Aries, is that you're going to be meeting somebody who has, um, I'm going to say, been single for some time now, and they are ready. Like, they are ready for a new beginning. I almost feel like saying this person is, like, healed from everything. Um, like, started, you know, a new chapter in their life because um, of closing out old cycles and, and healing, you know, karmic relationships of the past. All right? I feel like this person that you... Are going to be meeting is just going to be like ready so we're going to get the attraction for aries and this person is the attraction going to be instance is it going to be instance oh okay you know what aries all right, so not only do we have the fool, when I'm talking like this person is healed, I, I meant, I didn't want to go there, but this is like a spiritual, this person's gone through like a spiritual awakening, okay? This person right here is, um, they are ready. They have put the work in. Seven of Pentacles is uh, putting the work in. Okay, this person, they are ready. They are like healed. They are ready. I, I feel like they are twin flame, ready to meet the twin flame status. And that's because we got the four of wands. Yes, they're doing the nasty on a swing, but the, this is the 1111 card. This is the twin flame card, okay? Um, this person, they're going to be, like, ready. They don't want to meet nobody if that, if, they aren't, if that person is not their person. And I feel like this is you. This is going to be you. So if you don't know what twin flame and that kind of journey is, you need to start looking up, okay? Because this person's going to want um, somebody on their... Um, they're going to want somebody on their path. So if you uh, meet this person and you're really digging them, I suggest you start reading. Start reading. If you haven't met this, if you've already met this person um, and you're just barely getting to know somebody and they've talked about it, um, just maybe start studying now. Start studying now because they're going to quiz you. All right, Aries. So this person for Aries, um, what are they going to be like? What are they looking for? I think I already know, but what are they looking? What are they looking for? What is this person gonna be like? Whoa! All right, I'm. I have not been taking three, but I'm gonna take three because I feel like, um, for whoever Aries I'm talking to, this is gonna tell a story. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this person, um, they, they're healed. Okay, so codependency is coming out because this is what they are healing. This is what they've healed from. This is what they will not take. So Aries, if you have any codependent behaviors, uh, you might want to start uh, figuring out how, how you can release them and how you can let um, things go. And I, I don't mean like, you know, you have a drink every once in a while. I mean like anything from the past, past relationships, how people have treated you. If you are stuck on anybody that's hurt you in the past, like that's the stuff you're going to want to release. Okay. Now this is for the single Aries, but it's not to say that we haven't been, we don't all have past wounds, right? So this person that you're going to meet is they just want to make sure that you are healed. All right. And then they're coming out with trust. All right. Um, and I, I really feel like this is a message on their end. This is, this situation is calling for you to have trust. So I feel like what might happen is they might question you a little bit as re in regards to like your spirituality and your faith. Um, and we're all at different areas on our journey, right? Um, but I, I do feel like 
uh, you know, even on both of you, it's like trust the situation. I feel like this person, Aries, they're going to be able to teach you a lot and open your eyes up a lot. Um, but I do feel like they want somebody who is on their page. All right. And then they're coming out with true love. That's what they're looking for. True love. That 1111 twin flame romantic soulmates. They are looking for their person. They are not going to settle. So Aries, if you come across somebody that you are really liking, um, I have a feeling this person's they're they're gonna be like spiritually woke, okay? They're gonna be ready to start the real life journey. So I'm gonna pull some challenges. So what are some challenges for Aries and this person? What are some challenges? Any more challenges okay and what's gonna help what can help them what can help okay look it so these two cards coming out Aries I'm gonna say the challenges on your end because I feel like this person right here is I feel like they are I feel like they're truly spiritually woke all right, so the challenges are going to be um, you, I feel like you need to let go of any past, anything of the past, past people, past, like if you get, if you ask somebody out and they turned you down or you went out with somebody and they broke up with you, like you have to let all of that stuff go because the universe is not going to align you with the proper person, like your twin. They're not going to align you with your twin if you are not healed. All right, with the five of pentacles, look at these people being left out in the cold, feeling sorry for themselves. The universe is telling you, uh, you, you better start working on letting go of all this stuff if you want to meet this one person. Everybody says, everybody's all, well, no, nobody's trustworthy, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, no, just let go of the past because there are people. There are healed people and there are people that aren't healed. All right, and, and you're going to attract what... Um, you're going to attract what mentality you have on relationships. You're going to keep attracting that if you don't snap out of it. All right. What will help? Um, I feel like what your, your team is telling you is, you know, you've waited, you've been waiting for somebody like this person that's going to cross paths with you. You've been waiting for this person for a long time. Okay. Um, but you're not going to get this person if you do not, um, embody your King of Pentacles, um, attitude which is being your best self, um, forgiving the past, forgiving uh, people that have hurt you, forgiving your parents, forgiving your siblings, your cousins, your brothers, your aunts, your uncles, forgiving your past. You need to embody this King of Pentacles, all right? And I feel like another little sign for you is even coming to this 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 video so that you know, because this person is going to be here any day now. So you better start healing, Aries. All right, so when... When, where, or how will Aries meet this person? When, where, or how? Okay. So we have, um, all right. The Ace of Pentacles coming out. All right, and I feel with the, the, the depiction. Um, okay, so aces, the pentacles are about years. I'm not going to tell you it's going to be a year because I don't feel like that. Uh, potentially, it could be for those of you who aren't healing, okay? Um, but with the, all the snow on the ground, I feel like it's going to be this winter time, okay? Um, I'm not really getting where because I don't I don't think you guys are going to be camping in the off the river snowbank in the mountains in the snow, right? I'm going to shoot us a bear. We're going to shoot us a bear. No, I feel like winter time or within a year. And I know that some of you guys don't want to hear that, but if for those of you who aren't healed, this it might it might take you a year. Um, it just might. All right, so the seven of wands, I feel like with this card is speaking of um if we're looking at the picture, I feel like this is it could just be um meeting somebody for in, you know, for for business or something like that. I but I also too I kind of feel like this is like a a neighbor type of situation. All right, for some of you, it could be somebody that just moved to town, that just got here.
I've got kids going on in the background. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, I'll be down there in a minute. Can you go go to the table? Sorry, guys. Brothers having issues. Brothers having issues. Um, yeah, so somebody new in town, you know, that new person. You could live in a small town and there's somebody new that pops up. Somebody new just moved to town. That's kind of what I'm feeling. It could be that they uh, moved into town in the wintertime, too. All right, Aries. So what signs are you dealing with? All right, a fellow fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the number 23 breaking into, um, breaking down to a five. All right. And then we have um, Venus, 16, breaking down to a seven. So within five weeks over here, within seven weeks over here, um, Venus is the sign of Libra. Um, so five weeks, between five and seven weeks, Venus, sign of Libra. So watch out for your Libra, the Libras and the fire signs. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to pull some initials. And I'm... All right. So potential initials. If you see your initials, first, middle, or last, this is confirmation that it could be your story. Um, otherwise, it, it could be the other person's um, initials. So we have R, C, G, E, P, A, and L. All right. Hey, guys, again, sorry for the interruptions. Brothers having issues. Um, all right, if this is, uh, if you're not feeling this story, you guys can go back and look at the past ones or um, wait for next week to come out. All right, Aries, talk to you soon.